and welcome back to my channel single mom review today I am jumping on to share with you something again new for me I have been doing some jewelry videos um, where I've gotten some mystery boxes of jewelry and have showed you those items for sale and then putting them in my Poshmark closet which I've had for several years now the Poshmark closet um, and so I had told you, I think in my last couple videos, I was going to be having some handbags. I have my first video of some handbags today. Um, I actually got a box from America's Thrift Supply. This was the authentic designer purse mystery box. Um, they have one that is where you get five different um, name brand. I think it's called the name brand handbag. Um, box um, and I do have one of those that I'll be showing um, soon but this one was the authentic genuine um, mystery purse box so I have peeked inside because as you all know I do not know much of anything other than I have bought name brand purses designer purses for myself for years and um, but other than that didn't know a whole lot so I have peeked inside and got a little information about the product and there's actually two things inside. The uh, authentic designer box, you are guaranteed at least one purse um, that's authentic, genuine. And then um, sometimes you might have two purses and sometimes you might have one purse and sometimes you might have one purse and a um, accessory. And that's what I got. I got one purse and an accessory. Um, I, but this is not all. I, when I get done with this, I have um, a couple of purses that I picked up. Um, actually, it was on spring break this week, so I got to go. Uh, I went to some Goodwill stores. I didn't ha have time to hit the thrift stores because I have to drive an hour away to do that. Um, but I went and ha found a couple of really good finds, I think. Um, and so, and then I have a few purses from my stash that I was ready to get rid of. I need to go through the top of my closet and get a lot more. But uh, I got start was going to start out with these. So I have several things I'm going to show you. Also, at the end, I did an unboxing from Brighten Your Day, a jewelry unboxing from him. And I'm going to show those pieces of jewelry at the end of this video because if somebody wants one of those, um, I can throw it in with the purse if they're getting a purse too and then you won't have shipping. I'm going to do a $12 flat rate shipping on a purses. Now if it's a smaller purse, I will, I will tell you that it's going to be cheaper. So it's not going to be higher as of right now. It's always, if I, if it's different, it's going to be cheaper. So it's going to be in your favor. Um, if you get two purses, three purses, something like that, you know, um, I will definitely maybe add, you know, $5, something like that if it changes. Um, that much I'll kind of calculate it and let you know uh, at that point but I'm gonna keep it as reasonable as I can but that's why I'm gonna also add the jewelry at the end because it's not gonna cost anything to add the jewelry in so basically you would be getting the jewelry um, for free shipping so I thought I'm gonna just real quickly go over the pieces from that unboxing and if you want to throw um, a piece of jewelry in with your handbag that would be that would be great and save you on shipping Okay, well, let me show you the box I got. Here it is from America's Thrift Supply. All right, so the uh, box was $34.99, and I got one bag and one accessory. And then um, there was shipping and tax also added onto that, which made it um, $44.98. All right. If you get an authentic designer bag, it does come with an authentic designer um, certificate. Thought that was kind of cool. Let me get this box out of the way. Here. All right. It came in a very nice package, little plastic package. It does um, tell me on here that this is the Coach Brown Suede Leather Multi-Texture Signature Sea Patchwork Shoulder Bag with Gold Tone Accents. So, we certify to the best of our ability that this item's determination is accurate and correct. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this bag.
it is, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's look at it a little closer. All right, it, this thing is, I hope I do it justice. It is in like new condition. You can see it there at the top. Um, the hardware on it is pristine condition and there's a little scuffing but not very much it does have the coach embossed there coach this chain here is detachable it does detach if you want it to on both sides so you can take that off if you want but this makes it the shoulder bag or you can if you take that off you can carry it as a handle you know like just by the hands here each side here I'm gonna try to get, show you this it has so much um, hardware and everything on it I'm gonna try to show you everything but you can see that it has a I mean, not very much. I don't even hardly see any scratches on it. This leather here, there's really not any scuffing on it. This is where um, the buckle that goes to the little um, handles. Here's this side. Same thing with this. You can see a little tiny bit, tiny scratches. That's it. This also off and on. It has the coach on it. Um, I can see just a little bit of right there on the edge coat. Tiny bit. Just where that hardware rubs, but that's it. Um, there. But nothing on the top here. I don't see. Um, bottom, before we go to the inside. This very bottom here is like nothing. I don't see hardly anything. I don't even see any wear along the sides here. Same thing with that bottom part. Now, let's see. This corner here, and this is gathered in here, so sometimes it's a little bit of an illusion. Now, that does have a little bit of just wear right there, but if you took a little bit of black paint Something like that, you wouldn't even see it. Um, it's because it's definitely just top. It's not, I, like if I run like that, it's very smooth. So it's just a matter of a little scuffing there. This side. This looks like you think that it's, um, it's kind of illusion there. You think that that looks like it's pulling apart. But it's just where that gathers, which it's just where the suede and the leather gather. Because if you if you make it go flat, then it's it's there's nothing there. But when it bends, that leather bends and it just right at that seam and it just makes it look like. But when it goes flat, it's fine. Because at first I thought, oh, that's a little bit, but it's really not. It's just when it bends right there in that, in that gather part, then you think, oh, it's not put together there, but that's not the case. And I'm sorry for that light shining on my glasses. Um, I hate that. But um, I thought that myself. But if you just, it's just where the material and they kept, this is where material gathers there. All right. And this right here is a little bit, I can kind of feel that. Just like a little bit like, maybe it was just on the, um, maybe on the floor. But I bet if you just did a little, and if you go like that, you can't even see it. I felt it. That's why I stopped and looked at it. Um, but you can't really see it. But this bag has also has the hardware here. 
there's nothing wrong with that hardware. That's the only two little spots on both of those sides where I saw like this side actually. I think if I showed you the other side, there's really nothing on it that I can see. Little bit maybe there. Just those corners. Might be a good conditioning mic could take care of that too. I did not condition this bag. Um, so my one's from Goodwill I did, but I did not do anything to this one. And maybe a little scuffing right there. Not much of anything. And the bottom is beautiful. So I think that's just where, just the corners, just from lifting, um, probably being full. But honestly, if you see the inside of this, I don't know that these people use this purse very much at all. It actually still has that little thing in there, which I think is from probably maybe when it was new, the tag, the hang tag. Um, it does have the coach emblem or uh, patch in here. It has the serial number. It is not from a, the outlet. This is a true um, coach bag. Not, I mean, not that outlet bags aren't, but it's not from the outlet. Um, it has inside here, it also has this little C ring here. It's one of the zipper pulls for coach. thought that was pretty cool. Um, it does not have any coach outside hang tags. Um, so I think that may be missing. I think there might have been, it's supposed to have been a coach hang tag on the outside that may be missing. Um, it has, let me see, show you the inside here. It's dark, so let's see. But it, it's this beautiful burgundy satin and take it out. there's nothing because it's hard to see in there I don't see any I don't I mean it's like it was never used I think it might have sat on the floor in someone's house and never been used that's where the corners got moved shuffled around but never got used because it's in beautiful shape. Um, like I said, it does have this C zipper pocket also in here. It's also in beautiful burgundy color, beautiful. This bag is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous coach bag. Um, it has the zip top closure, leather pull, has the brass coach hardware. Um, the shorter strap is for the hand carry, as I said. Um, and it has a two and a half inch drop on it. it has a removable braided chain here. And it's about a four inch drop chain. It is about 12 inches in height and it's about about 14 and a half inches in length wide here and then it has about a four and a half inch depth here okay um so it's it's a nice size beautiful purse like i said it has the brown on the lighter um taupe so it's gorgeous um the lining is that satin purple and it has the one zipper inner pocket with the coach creed and it has a serial number in there it has two inner pocket organizers that was on the other side just making sure i say everything it has and it does have that signature um c zipper pull inside but not the actual hang tag on the outside um, I, these ranged all over uh, eBay and Poshmark. Um, there's been some that sold for 120 on Poshmark. Um, they've been selling for, there, there's many listed for 300, 250, 200. I mean, they're all over the place on their listings. Um, but I want to offer this to my subscribers for $50. It is the most gorgeous coach. And like I said, it's called the Brook. And they said it was a limited edition and very rare. 
um, when they and were not very many made when they made these. It's what, it's what it said when I did my research. I have never seen one like this, and it's gorgeous. So fifty dollars. Be sure you can email me at singlemomreview at gmail .com. Twelve dollars shipping, and let me know if you want it or comment down below. I'll get you an invoice. Um, I'm new to this, so whatever we need to do to, to make it happen. All right. Sorry I spent so much time, but that thing was so huge that I wanted to go through everything, and I'm not the fastest, I know. All right. Next item is the accessory. It was also a coach. Um, so I was very pleased with this box. Very pleased. All right. Let me get this out. It is a little wristlet. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. I love that it was kind of a patchwork too, kind of matched the little bag inside. It does have its hang tag here. It has a little cow print here. It has burgundy, purple, brown, suede. Um, oh, that leather feels wonderful. Um, it has the um, like a black suede here. It has the taupe C signature um, fabric here. The black or brown, dark brown coach signature fabric here. It has one little pin marker scratch here. I'm not sure what that is. Um, the uh, that other side is the same. It has kind of the same. It has a silver, silver signature C there. Super cute. Um, the gold hardware on this side is um, in really good condition, but it does have a few little um, scratches. Um, it's in really good condition, but it has more scratches than the, than the purse did. The purse had minimal, um, but this just has a few extra little scratches on it. Not too much, um, but it zips very nicely. Oh, let me, just one minute. I did not zip this purse for you. I want to make sure I zip this for you. Um, this is the little pull, the little coach, little pull here for um, the zipper closure on the top, and it zips very nicely. So I just wanted to make sure I showed you that. I did not show you that. All right, back to the little accessory. All right, this. And the little, so if you go like this, if it's open, it's like a little handle, cute. But if you zip it close, it's a wristlet. So, which is good to know because if you go like this, you know you can't put it on your wrist because things are gonna fall out. All right, and then the inside here is like a light purple. It is really clean. You can see, I don't know if this comes out. Yeah, it does. I just like to pull it out so I can show it to you guys. Cause sometimes it's hard to see down in that purse. Um, I'm trying to be faster on this because I know I took a lot of time on that other one. I just had so much I wanted to show you. It is very clean. All right. All right, so now it um, has this little coach and this is kind of a patent leather. Coach, oh, had it upside down, sorry. Coach, very pretty, and it's not, it's in great condition. That's in great condition. The, the thing I saw the most was just this, just this had a little bit of um, wear on it, but not much at all, but a little wear. You can actually unclip this off. Um, you, this doesn't come off, so I'm not sure what that does, but it does clip on and off. That's the only thing that I see. The inside looks like it's never been used, but this just looks a little tarnished. So it's in really, really good little condition. A little nice little wristlet. Um, this is the Coach Vintage Multicolor Patchwork Suede Brown Leather Wristlet with a hang tag. This was called the Zoe, Z-O-E. Um, it's three and a half inches high in height and seven inches long. Um, it has the suede, leather, cow print, metallic, and canvas. Um, the strap drop is six and a half inches. Um, it is the little wrist strap. 
Um, it has a solid purple fabric interior with the top zip closure with the gold toned hardware. I'm new to this, so I have to write all these things down so that I make sure I give you all the information. Um, I saw these sold for, these were selling on Poshmark for between $20 and $25. Um, I also saw them listed for up to $50. Um, but because of this little tarnishing here, um, and a special deal for my subscribers, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. All right. If you want this, email me singlemomreview at g singlemomreview at gmail.com and it will be yours. Uh, shipping with for this would be um, five dollars. I'd do five dollars on that. All right. I told you I'd make you all some deals. All right, so now we are gonna go into uh, the purse that I actually pulled out of my closet that I was gonna throw in. I probably should have stuffed this, but I didn't. Um, this is a Dooney and Burke. This thing is in light new condition. Um, I bought this for myself. I thought it was a beautiful bone spring summer color. Um, I did take it on a few um, weekender vacation type things. Loved it. Um, I could get everything in it. What I did was I put everything I was going to need in it and then put my cross, a small crossbody or small wristlet inside of it. And when I would get out to go in somewhere, I would grab that wristlet out of it. Um, perfect for the office because you can, you can throw in notebooks, um, tablets, whatever you need to take into the office with you with this. Um, it is, it is very nice. First coach I showed you, um, you could just tell by the feel of it how well it was made. That's how you can feel with this Dooney here. It's, which all Dooneys are well made, but it's very well made. All right. I'm going to start by showing you everything. And this one is, this is such a pretty leather. Has the Dooney and Bork here with the gold lettering. Um, there's, I did not carry it much. Like I said, I left it in the car most of the time or in the hotel room um, with everything that was big in there. I've taken it on a couple of trips it's, um, because I could get so many things in it. But there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of wear on the bottom even. That's not cracking. That is how this leather is embossed. It is an embossed leather. You can see a little bit right there. I guess I will say that. Just a tiny bit of wear. It almost, you almost can't even tell because it goes with the embossed leather. It has the feet. It actually has five feet. That might have helped it keep it off of the floor. That may be why there's not much scuffing there on the bottom at all looks like a little bit maybe right there um I still think some of that goes back to that this being the embossed leather it's a little bit hard to tell what's what um but I wanted to point it out just in case beautiful beautiful bag I had so many compliments on this Right, it does have the two handles here. I love it. If I worked in a high-rise office, this would be the purse I would have with me because I could just get out of my car, shove tablets, notebooks, everything in it, and go. All right, this has the bomb.com um, organizational thing in here. Okay, it has a front magnetic snap closure here. Small pocket. Has a beautiful red interior lining. This front po snap closure pocket also has a little um, interior side pocket also. Maybe a credit card slip pocket is kind of what um, I would call that. Um, I'm going to take this out, but it's this pocket here is beautiful 
Uh, then I go into, let's go ahead and do the back pocket. The back of it also has a snap closure pocket here. This one does not have a credit card slip pocket in it. Once again, red, beautiful. No markings, doesn't look like it's been used there. Go to the inside. All right, the inside here is huge. It's what I'm talking about. You can throw anything in here. It has the Dooney stamped right here, Dooney Bork right here. Uh, it's still, I actually still have the authenticity card in here with the serial number. Um, I'll put that back in here so you'll get that with it. All right, let's go back to this. This is the inside interior zipper pocket. It does zip here. Let me see if this has. All right, then it goes, I'm gonna zip that back so I don't get confused where I'm at. Then on the outside of that zippered pocket is another open uh, organizer pocket. Then you have your huge bottom here. Also has this that you can, you know, clip something else on, keys, whatever you want to clip on this. Um, it has the Dooney and Bork tag here with, I think it's the serial number on the back of it, maybe. I think that the number on the back of it. Um, it also has on this side for your cell phones or whatever, interior pocket here, organizer pocket, interior and organizer pocket there. Um, I did, there was, let me take this part out. Um, let's see here. I thought I had a pin mark somewhere that I wanted to make sure I showed. I can't even find it. Oh, there's a tiny maybe pin mark there. Can you even see that? Let's see it. Um, I don't even see anything. I thought I did. I think it might have been that. And I used tub of towels and, and worked on it, so I bet... I, I bet it lightened up to next to nothing because um, I don't see anything now. Nope. So I guess my muscle got, got rid of it. So good, yay. Well, that's inside, exciting. That was my first go at a tub of towels and cleaning. So, all right. Make sure I, oh, here. I knew there was another ink mark somewhere. You couldn't see it earlier when I show, even looked at it because you still can't hardly see it now. I used tub of towels on it. But maybe you can, yeah, just right there. Two little ink marks next to nothing. I knew I had spotted something before and I thought, I want to make sure I point that out. All right, I'm going to put this back in this zippered pocket. All righty. Gorgeous Dooney and Bork. This Dooney and Bork also comes with the dust bag, the original dust bag for Dooney and Bork. So you also get that with it. All right, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on this. This was the is the Dooney and Bork Denison Flynn Large Croc Embossed Bone Leather Shoulder Bag. Um, it has red lining. It has front and back snap pockets that I showed you. Uh, magnetic closure. One inside zip pocket, two inside pockets that slip, those little slip pockets in there. Um, cell phone pocket, um, it has the feet. It is 11 inches high in height, um, 12 and a half inches wide, and then it is six in depth here, six inches in depth. It has a five to six inch handle here. Um, got two different numbers on it. Um, it has the dust bag that comes with it. It has a 10 and a half inch drop. Um, the dust bag, the inside key hook that I showed you. It has one credit card, card slot on the front pocket. That was that little um, pocket in there. Um, 
snap closure to the large compartment. I also was looking, these little um, rivets on the handles all say, you know, they're all stamped also. But this is just an all around beautiful bag. Um, I saw these, these were selling um, on Posh. They were like, I saw some for 150, 220. Original price on this was 388. But um, I saw some for sale, recently for sale for 180. Um, 90, 95, they went all the way, I actually saw one for $227. Um, I am going to also do this one for $50, like the coach one. Um, I just need to get it out of my closet, but it's beautiful. $50, you get the dust bag too. I think that's, that's pretty much, that's a good deal. So, um, and this one would definitely be a $12 ship, get a big box to ship that in. All right. Now to the, actually, I did have one other item out of my closet. A little crossbody. I actually just stopped um, using this. I just took all of my things out of this and switched to a different crossbody. Um, and so that's why I thought, I'm going to throw this in there. I did condition it, cleaned it out really well. Um, but... I just, like I said, I just finished using this and loved it. It is a Michael by Michael Kors. There are some of these that were, were true Michael Kors um, because I kind of was, I was, I did, I did do my research, guys. Um, they were a little different. They would have a slip pocket on the back. This does not. This is the Michael um, by Michael Kors, which is still a very nice back. Um, I, that's honestly almost the only difference besides, I think the other one had a few more interior slip pockets. Um, but otherwise very, nobody would know the difference. It has the Michael Kors up here in gold. I did condition this too, but when I got done using it, it has the front zip pocket, pocket, <laughs> zip pocket here. Um, it has the Michael Kors gold tag it is not I actually was I thought I actually did pretty good I didn't hardly scuff this thing up at all I don't think it hardly has any marks on it maybe a few on the back here yeah it does have a few scratches can't even see them but I actually was pretty kind to this bag and I don't really mentally think about it but um it has the Michael Kors pull tag um, on the top here on the zipper. The zipper works just fine. Just got done using this. Um, it does have the crossbody handle strap here. These don't have the hang tags. Anything, all of them that I pretty much looked up didn't have hang tags, so I don't think I that was something that was missing. Um, it just didn't have one. It is. It ha does have an adjustable shoulder strap. Here, you can adjust that. The shoulder strap is in really good condition. There isn't any peeling or anything on it. Really good condition. The inside, really good condition. Um, this is where it says Michael, Michael Kors. Um, let me see if this, this does not come out, so I can't really pull it out to show you. Let me see, make sure in here. It does have one little, you can see that little, where am I at? Right there. That little darkening brown spot there. I'm sure that was probably, if I know myself, that was probably a piece of chocolate maybe or something. Um probably get that out with a tub of towels. I may work on that. I don't think I did work on the inside of this. I just cleaned it out real good, but I don't think I scrubbed on that. I can scrub on that. I was scrubbing on the ones I could pull out really easily, but I don't think I got down in there and scrubbed. Um, but I could get, I did get the corners and things out. You can see here in really good condition there and there. It does have a slip pocket inside here. I think this might come out for me so I can show you that. So 
So it's really clean besides that one little, I think it's chocolate if I had to take a guess. Um, I'm always at the basketball games having a snack, throwing it in my purse. So, but very, very, very good condition. Let me show you the edging around the bottom here. I don't think most of the time when I wore it in, I never even took it off of my shoulder. So it never hardly hit the ground. If I took, if I wore it into work, I put it inside my desk drawer. So very good condition. Um, this is the Michael by Michael Kors. Uh, this is called the Riley. And it's a crossbody pebbled leather. They also refer to it as a messenger bag. Um, the color is what they call the camel pebble because it is in a pebbled leather there. Uh, it has a zip top closure, which I showed you. And it has the one front zip pocket on the exterior. It has the crossbody strap that's adjustable. Gold tone hardware. The little pull tabs here. Um, logo jacquard lining. It does say NK on those little the logo. Um, has a single interior slip pocket. Um, the strap is depending on how you adjust it. It's between 22 to 25 inch. And I saw these. There's been a lot of these sold. People must just really like them. I loved it. It's about nine by nine, nine inches in height, nine inches in width here. It's about a half an inch in depth. Um, they sold, I saw them selling $45, $40, $25. Um, that right now I saw, have seen several listed. Um, I saw some, um, I saw them listed for 90, 40, um, all the, you know, usually a lot of them are around in there. I did see one that was 168, but I mean, the original price, the original price tag on this was 178. So 168 is a little, I'm not sure where that price came from. So I would, I would do $25 for this little purse. It is beautiful, beautiful little Michael Kors camel pebble leather beautiful i mean there's it looks in pristine condition on the outside gorgeous little purse so i'll do 25 dollars. this one i would do shipping um of ten dollars so this one was another one that i'd do a little bit lower shipping all right all right now to my goodwill finds all right um oh actually one other thing i had from my closet <laughs> all right this is a wallet this is a Brighton wallet that I used forever. I have had several Brighton purses. I've had several Brighton wallets, coin purses, wristlets. Um, I actually still have a purse or two in my top of my closet I've got to get down. Um, this is, Brighton leather is amazing. I love Brighton leather. I did recondition this. Um, it feels like butter, like butter. Um, the zipper still works wonderfully. It goes all the way around it. It's a two-tone. It has the black pebbled leather, and then it has the um, brown embossed leather down here. Um, it has the silver tone here. It's um, maybe not as bright as it originally was. Maybe a little bit of peel or tarnish right here um but beautiful still i mean if you're away from it you can't even tell it has the little brighton um, leather pull for the zipper here is the back a little bit of scratches i can kind of see here if you but just very 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 minimal the edge coatings are I'm just not really hard on my purses or my billfolds um, I don't know how some people are so hard when you get them and you're like what did you do drag it through the um, gravel this maybe just you can just maybe see there's just maybe just that's just every day from use but it's not it's just like smooth to the touch still so Honestly, just I don't even I don't even say that it's 
maybe a little bit of scuffing, but not much. All right, then the inside here, very clean black um, lining. Then it has leather credit card slots here. The pebbled leathers inside of it. Um, then you have a zippered middle part for your coins. It is the black too. Great condition, no marks, no tears, nothing. Another pull, a heart pull for the inside for your coins. Works perfectly. Then on the other side of that, you have more credit card slots, just like the front part. Also, you have a slot there and a slot there for dollar bills or whatever you want to put there. Um, it does have the little, I think that's a Brighton tag here. Um, here's like where it's accordion there, no ripping there. This took me forever to get out of this because I loved it so much. Um, but this was the Brighton Classic Collection Clutch Wallet in pebbled leather, black brown, black brown two-toned. Um, it's a clutch wallet, 11 internal pockets, <laughs> no straps. Um, it's eight by seven and a half, and then it's about four and a half inches in depth um, when you open it. Um, has no straps. Uh, zippered top with leather pulls, silver metal, metal accessories, and high quality leather. Um, Brighton, can't go wrong with this. Um, I saw a, just a couple. This is vintage. Um, this was, I mean, I probably got this. I bet this is probably a 20 year old bill hole. I probably got this in the early 2000s. Um, like 2003 probably but so I'm gonna say it's 20 years old and um, so it's definitely a vintage Brighton uh, right now on eBay they're anywhere from $32 um, dollars, but um, I would do this for I do this for 15 so 15 for that this is another $5 shipping if you get that. All right, so now time for my first um, Goodwill find. This is a black Steve Madden. I just really thought the black, um, I love Steve Madden things anyways, but I thought the black was very classy. And I loved that it was a bigger tote. Um, like I said, these type of bags I think are wonderful for um, office going somewhere for the weekend. That way, if you are going in somewhere that you can throw a lot of things inside of it, this has plenty of room. Um, I don't know that this, I don't think that that's leather. I think it's a faux leather, like a polyurethane type. Um, I think that's what they call that. It's like, it's like butter though. Um, I, but I don't, I think it's a faux leather um, from what, I could research. Um, I think it's faux leather, even though it probably would have fooled me. I would have thought it was leather very easily if I hadn't have done my research. Um, let's see, you can see the little Steve Madden here and the gold. I love black and gold. Oh, I love black and gold. Um, has the um, little gold brackets here. I love the gold uh, zippers also that it accentuate accent the bag. I love that. The back is the same way with the gold hardware there. All right, let's look at the bottom here. Check it all out. Um, this end of it is wonderful. There's nothing there. Now the other end here, I did see a few little things here on the corner. Right here, that little corner. I think um, paint or Sharpie or something, you probably could, because it's very smooth to the touch. And then this corner also, right there. And I, I don't know why, this, this corner's had nothing, this corner's had those, so I don't know if they set it down, I don't know. Um, the back side, 
It's maybe got a couple little like scuff right there maybe. Can't hardly tell. Um, but I can just, you can, little scuff there. Not much. Um, the front had also that same thing and you can't even hardly tell. A little maybe scuff there. Very minimal. Um, the handles are in very nice shape. They feel wonderful too. They're not hard. They're very soft. Um, except for right up here at the top where they would have been at the shoulder. Um, just a little bit of peeling right here on that. Um, sorry once again for this glare on my glasses. Um, usually I'm back here and you never notice, but I, since I'm up here, it's real close. But um, right, right there. That's the only thing. The rest of the handles are all fine. And it's not even that bad. And with the black, it's hard to even tell. Um, but I just wanted to make sure I noted that. All right. The front part here has this front zip closure. There is the inside of it. It is the black with the Steve Madden logo inside of it. No marks. Nothing spilt in there. The zipper works like a charm. And then you've got the big part here. It actually um, does have Steve Madden and gold inside. Um, it's actually also very, very, very clean. Actually, this little tag here, I think this is where it also tells me. Yes, it told me poly polyurethane is what it says It's the body is made out of. So I'm guessing that's what this is. Um, I'm gonna go with that. Even though it would fool me and I would think it was leather. I actually did until I looked at it. I mean, when I put, picked it up from the Goodwill store, I thought it was leather. All right. Um, and then the inside here has a two-part con little compartment here. Kind of an organizer type thing where you can one side has you can put things in the other side you can put things in and then also on the that middle part that's the organizer it has a slip pocket here and it has kind of credit card slip pockets here i mean there's probably six or seven credit card slip pockets there so that's kind of neat i thought and then so i thought that was kind of neat and then this um, zipper closure works like a charm too. I think you could get you a gold chain to go on this, um, a black strap, but it did not have a black strap with it. But it does have the brads for a black strap if you wanted to add one to it. Um, this, what, what I saw on that I did my research so this may be called the bikini, bikini bag. Um, it was originally sold for $108 is what it said. On eBay right now, they're selling for $52. I would sell this for 20. I think that's a steal, 20 bucks. But I got a really good deal on it um, at the Goodwill store, so I'm gonna give you all a really good deal, $20. That would be a $12 ship. All right, two more. It's the sack purse. If you have never carried a sack purse, you are missing out. Um, in fact, that is what I'm carrying now for my crossbody is this, is the sack. The leather on a sack is amazing for the price i don't think you can beat it um saw this one in my goodwill store that looked brand new i don't even know if anybody's ever carried this i had to get it um it is in the moss green i think they call it which is an olive green gorgeous color i don't know that there is anything wrong with this like i said i don't think it was ever carried I was, I did put some um, conditioning leather on it. Leather, I did condition it with some leather cleaner. I, 
I don't know that it was ever carried, guys. Um, there's just nothing the matter with it. The inside, I don't know that anybody ever stuck anything in it. Here is the sack. Um, it does have, it's um, the tag inside here, which has the, um, let's see, I think it does have the ID number or the serial number and that it's 100% leather and it's called the D. Young bag. Um, inside, it does have a inside pocket with a pull here, a little zipper pull. It does have, um, let's see, one, two interior slip pockets. But look at that lining in there. There's just nothing wrong with it. I mean, like, I don't know that anybody ever wore this. I just don't. Um, I don't know that anything's ever hit the inside of this bag ever. So, I thought that was a huge, big find for me. Here's the top closure, like butter. Oh, I don't, I didn't show you the back. The back has a little slip pocket right here, which is great. I love to throw my keys in there, um, especially when I'm getting out of my car and need to get in the school building. I throw my keys in there, easy for me to pull out and get in. This is the sack right here. Beautiful purse. Um, this is in the color moss green, which is an olive green. Um, the, it's 12 and a half. Um, it's 12 and a half by 10. So I think it's 12 and a half across here, 10 inches here, um, four inches in the depth here. The, and the handle here is one inch wide. It's got about a one inch wide handle. Um, it has a 13 inch handle drop. Um, zip closure on the top that we did. Um, an outside open pocket, an inside zip pocket, two inside slot pockets that we looked at. Um, this is a hobo. Is it the De Young? This is a, this is in the softest pebble leather. It's called the De Young Hobo Bag. Um, it comfortably slouches over your shoulder. Um, it has hand stitch details, brass tone hardware, and tan lining. Um, this was originally $149. I saw it on Macari actually for $103. Uh, that's the only one I saw like this. Um, but I would do this for, um, I'd do this for $35. $35. So I think that's a that's a steal, thirty five um, for that. But it's beautiful. All right, next one here. I looked upon this. A Vince Komoto. Oh my gosh! I was ecstatic when I saw this. I thought, surely not. Um, cause I am a huge Vince Komoto. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, everybody says it a little different. Um, I'm a huge Vince uh, fan. I have several clothing items. If I even see anything from him, I usually look at it or pick it up. Um, Vince and Liverpool and Cabby are my go-to, uh, clothing items, um, I love to get clothes in them. They just fit me so well, and they're such good quality. So anyways, when I saw this purse, I was like, no way. This isn't a good wheel store, and so I picked it up. And this is another one. I don't know that it's hardly been used. Um, it has this beautiful braided detail here, and this is what they call the color Urban Jungle. It's kind of a grayish green. Um, beautiful color, but that's what it says, the interior, um, I'll show you here in a minute, but the interior thing inside said Urban Jungle. Um, but it's got this braided, um, little 
magnetic clasp here with a tassel on the end, but inside of it here, it's got gold brads starting from the back here all the way down to the front and then a tassel hangs off of that. I mean, that that just makes the bag for me, I think. Um, it does have the Vince Komodo um, little t uh, hang tags here. One is gold, the Vince Komodo. Um, it doesn't hardly have any scratching at all. It has a little bit of, I, I did the leather conditioner, so a little bit on that, but if I, I mean, there's like nothing on there. No scratches. And then just the same color of leather. It's just kind of a toggle there together for the little hang. Um, and that is, if you don't want that, that comes off very easily. It's on there like that. All right. Then on the back here, it has the Vince emblem here. All right. Let's look at this and see if there's anything. See anything there? You look down here on these ends there is absolutely nothing like it never saw the floor which it could be like my Michael Kors is like that too because it never saw the floor nothing there's no little nicks there's no anything let me show you this side here this is actually I think that's where the um, price tag was I just didn't cut it off because I thought I'm going to show them that because I think that's usually what they have when they have the price tag on there. I don't think it's ever been cut off because I don't think it's ever was used. Uh, it does have the crossbody strap here that's adjustable. Um, very pretty. Gold tone. Um, like I said, these are gold hardware here on both sides. This here is a magnetic, I think this is so cute, and it's a good little magnet there, but it opens up, and then you have inside here, I mean, I don't know that it was ever used, it's like a hound's tooth, um, little bit of a jacquard type design in there, fabric. So it has one zip pocket over here on the side. Everything zips great. And then it has the middle part that also has nothing. And it zips. And then the other part on the other side, once again, is just immaculate. Um, and it has two slip pockets on this side. Uh, let me see where I saw that. Jungle, or tell me the color. There it is. Right over here. Um, this is, talks about, let's see. It has the Vince Komodo, um, that it's 100% genuine leather. And then the one that's under that is the one that told me that it was, the style is called the VCANCEL-CB in the Urban Jungle. In there, so. I think it's brand new, like the sack. I think they're brand new bags, never used gorgeous, gorgeous bag. This was the Vince Komodo Urban Jungle. Oh, let me show you the handle here too. Like there's nothing the matter with it. Nothing. I don't even know if it's ever been put on. That just looks like, um, there's nothing. Looks like that's where it was sewn maybe but it's not a nick or anything. Um, it just looks like that's where it was put together, something. I don't know what that is, but it's nothing that was done to the bag other than when it was made. Um, this is the Urban Jungle Gray, which is a, with the green color. 
uh, Vince Komodo crossbody purse. Um, it's square in shape, small in size, but large. It has a large, uh, a, you know, three different divisions inside here, but it's a cute little small crossbody. Um, the tassel and gold plate are removable that I showed you. And this is also removable too if you wanted to take that off. Um, the strap is adjustable in length. Um, one inside zipper compartment and several other storage pockets. So, oh, this is such a pretty purse. Um, I saw this, this was originally a $238 purse. Um, I saw it on Posh for 100, Poshmark for 150. Um, I would do this for 40, $40. I think that's a steal. It's brand new. Vince Komodo leather is amazing leather. It is a pebbled leather. Beautiful. I like it because it is still that staple of a gray, but yet it has that different color because it's called that urban jungle that has a little bit of that green in it. That makes it gorgeous. It makes it just a different type of a gray, but still so versatile to go with everything. Um, so I love that about it. And this would be, it's still, it's not light. I mean, it's still, you can tell this is very nicely made. And so I would do, um, still 12 on this because it's, I would do $10 to ship this. All right. Very quickly through this jewelry, um, just in case you want to add something um, to your bags. Um, these were a pair of earrings that are for keeps. I will do a special deal on those today if, um, for $5. I'm just almost doing things half price. I'm just doing some special deals. And I have kept you all so long. If you've waited, you deserve a special deal. All right. Another for keeps pair of earrings. Five dollars. Um, let's see. This was the um, Leah Sophia bracelet here. Let's do five dollars. I'm doing stills today. If you have lasted this long with me. All right, here we go. This is a sterling silver necklace by Sterling Forever, which is an amazing brand with sterling silver here. It has two discs on it. One of them says Faith. I'll do it real fast here. There's the Faith. It is a sterling silver chain and um, both discs. And this is, I'll do this for eight. Eight dollars. All right, a rustic cuff in the storage bag here. This bracelet is a gorgeous silver bracelet. It is branded um, rustic cuff. Silver goes with everything. It's gorgeous. I'll do this for um, six dollars. Six dollars. All right. For keeps earrings here, these are the gold Milans. These are definitely beautiful statement earrings. I'll do those for eight dollars. Um, necklace here by Sonoma, brand new on card, so perfect for a gift if you're looking for a gift for somebody or for yourself, because this mother of pearl. Gold tone necklace goes with everything. It's gorgeous. I'll do six dollars for it. Sonoma on the card, six dollars. Um, beautiful limited statement necklace. Yeah, this is a gorgeous necklace. It is so pretty. It has and it is branded. And I'm going to go, um, guys, I'm feeling generous today. $8. I thought 
think I feel good that I got my first handbag, uh, even though it was probably took way too long. I got it done and over with, and so I'm feeling generous. Um, this is a White House and Black Market necklace. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That is a gorgeous necklace. Oh my gosh. It just... I love it and it is branded right here and this is ten dollars we'll do ten dollars for that that one I hard to go down on then you could get this to go with your Steve Madden black purse boxed set of three pairs of Steve Madden earrings You've got love crystal earrings, hearts. And these are little round crystal hoops. Those are, almost take those out and keep them. And then you've got the rainbow crystal drop earrings there. Um, I'll do the box set for $8. Three pairs of earrings for $8. All right. Like I said, if you're getting a purse and you want to throw some of those in, it's free. If you want to order just the jewelry, um, $5 flat shipping. So however many pieces you want to get, $5 flat shipping. Go down to my description box. Um, I'm going to have all the prices listed because I know I went really super fast. Um, but I wanted to try to finish this video. Good Lord, it took forever. Um, Thank you guys for hanging out on me. If you want to see more in-depth pictures of those items of jewelry, um, you can go to my uh, Brighten Your Day video where I unboxed it because I did have it under the under just directly on the jewelry, so you saw more of the jewelry there. Um, I hope I didn't drive everybody nuts with this video. I promise to get better. Um, I'm just kind of feeling my way through it. Remember, email me at singlemomreview.com. I also have that down in my description box and also in a pinned comment um, for you to reach out to me. Also, I'm with my Poshmark closet. Well, down, link will be down in my description box if you want to go check that out. Um, go check that out. And I'll be talking to you all again real soon. Bye.